hi friends this is Dwarika from awardq.com so in this tutorial we are just going to see how to launch chrome browser in mac using selenium web driver so the very first question that arises what is the special in launching a chrome browser using selenium web driver on Mac machine or Linux or Windows machine so as we all familiar that by default Selenium web driver jar have all the bindings for Firefox that's why we don't need to set any system properties anywhere to launch Firefox while uh, in the case of Chrome browser Safari or any other browser we need a executable binding <coughs> uh, binders that help us to launch these browsers with the help of selenium web driver api so let's see how we normally set this system properties on mac machine at this point of time later on we will see how to set these properties in Linux and in Windows machines so uh, since we are uh, we have just talked about executable binders that is needed to launch this Chrome browser on various operating system so it means we need to uh, download this executable so first we will go and download this executable for Mac machine so here you can see uh, one URL through which we are just going to search this Chrome driver executable so I'm just opening my Chrome browser and going to navigate on this URL and here you can see the uh, here you can see all the available versions of this Chrome driver executable so here I'm just going to download the latest version that is 2.19 uh, so click on this and once we will <coughs> navigate inside this folder then you can see the chrome driver executables are available for Linux 32 bit Linux 64 bit Mac machine and Windows machines so since we are talking about the Mac machine so I'm just going to click on this chrome driver underscore mac 32.zip so we will click on this and it, it will start downloading on our machine so since i have already downloaded this so i'm not going to download this but in your case if you are just going to start this uh, property setting uh, for the very first time then you will need to download it on your machine so once you have just downloaded this zip file the second thing that is needed is to unzip this folder so like here I have just downloaded this in my downloads folder so uh, like on my uh, Mac machine you will uh, need to double click on this or just do the right click use any kind of archive extractor and extract this folder once you will extract this zip file you will see that there is one chrome driver file coming out of that extractions okay so now we have this executable on our machine so <coughs> the third thing that we need to do is to set the path for this chrome driver executable so there are two ways to set this path for this chrome driver executable either directly <coughs> go to the folder use the go to the folder and go and type you uh, slash user slash local slash bin and navigate navigate to this location but before navigating to this location get back to the <coughs> uh, downloads folder where you have just extracted this chrome driver executable zip file 
copy the extracted file copy it okay and again go to the folder where you uh, want to paste it go to the folder click on this and again type slash user slash local slash bin now it will navigate us to this bin location and here you need to paste this chrome driver executable like here you can see i have already pasted it here into this bin location so this was the very first way to move your chrome driver uh, by using ui but if you are uh, quite handy with the terminal then you need to uh, <coughs> open the terminal this is the second way of moving or setting the chrome driver executable path okay so here we are just going to directly going to the downloads folder okay and here we will just move this means uh, i'm saying uh, here to copy this chrome driver into this user local bin folder okay so here we will write cp chrome driver and then we will type the location where we are just trying to copy it so this location is user slash local slash bin so once we will hit enter it will move this chrome driver <coughs> executable at this local bin location so now we have just set this path for the chrome driver executable if you want then <coughs> you can just restart or directly you can start working with this so let's see how we are just going to launch this how it is uh, going to help us out to launch the chrome browser using selenium web driver so i am just going to open my eclipse okay and here you will have to create one java class like i'm just going to create one java class here like chrome driver example okay and tick this public static void main and inside this we are just going to create one web driver instance web driver equal to null okay and here driver equal to new chrome driver okay so here we are seeing uh, one error so let's remove this error just by importing the web driver okay so just click on this now if we are just going to execute this code then it will be uh, able this code will be able to launch your chrome driver but how we come to know that whether it is able to perform other actions inside this chrome browser or not so let's open one uh, url inside this chrome <coughs> browser using this code so i am just going to write driver dot get and inside this i am just going to type one url http <coughs> colon double slash aboardqa.com okay so now we have we are done with the code let's execute this so right click just go to the run as and here we will run it as a java application so just hit on the java application so it will just launch the chrome browser and you will see that uh, within few seconds it is going to open a boardqa.com okay so it means we have correctly set the path of chrome driver executable on our mac machine thank you